It's Sky here, and today we're going to be doing a flip through and review of another one of Elena's books. So, this one is called Enchanted Forest, and just like the uh, Ladies of Nature one, it doesn't have her name anywhere on the cover, which I think is kind of strange. I think that the artist's names should definitely be front and center on the cover somewhere at least. So, I do find that a little bit odd. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I love how she's got the colored pencils down here and then an uncolored version graduating into colored and kind of like realistic. Super cool. Absolutely love that. And then on the back, it tells you that there's two full sets of 27 illustrations. And then it does have her name here as well as her website. And it shows you a few of the different illustrations within the book, which is kind of neat. So diving on in, this is the first page you see. Um, I did color one page and I did um, record it, so there is going to be a speed color of the page at the end, so uh, stay tuned for that if you're interested. So again, it tells you that you get two full sets of the 27 images, and it tells you also that there are four bonus pictures from some of her other books, so that's pretty cool. So here she's got a little insert about her coloring club group on Facebook, so you could definitely go and join that. You can pause the video if you want to, to read about that. So going through the pages, these are absolutely adorable. Um, I love how they're kept in the border so they don't really flow off the page. The line work is super beautiful. And they are single-sided. The paper is pretty close to the Create Space, which is now known as just Amazon paper. I absolutely love this page. I think it's the leaves. For some reason, these leaves really stand out to me. So there is a few different kind of styles of pages, some of them like this. I've noticed kind of don't quite add up, but if you're artistic, you could definitely kind of doodle the rest of the branches in there somehow. So there's lots of simple pages and lots of kind of more detailed pages. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So there's a little bit for everybody. There's pages that don't have backgrounds, so you could kind of make your own, some that do have backgrounds. I absolutely love her style and just the nature of her art. Lots of unicorns in this one, which I absolutely love. This is another one I really like. That is absolutely gorgeous, a winged unicorn. So this is the one that I colored, um, and I kind of did this for my ice cream colors hashtag in, I think August, yeah. Still haven't even uploaded this because I haven't gotten the review up yet. So I used Prismacolor Premiers for all of the pastel colors. Um, the branches were done with Derwent Ink Tents, and the background was done with pastels. So again, there will be a speed coloring of this after if you want to watch that. And then I did go around the background with just some white paint, and I colored that in. So the water from the ink tents does kind of show through slightly in some areas. But for the most part, it didn't really bleed through, and even if it does, it's a double-sided page, so it doesn't really matter. I would just always advise putting um, some, a couple, at least a couple spare pieces of paper behind your pages. Um, even if you're using just pencils, it keeps from kind of damaging the tooth of the paper on the next page. I 
I love this one. I feel like it needs a really unique background, but I'm not sure what I would do with it. Mermaid having a bubble bath. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. So here are the bonus pictures, and it does tell you which books they come from. And Alina does have a lot of books to choose from. And then here it tells you that uh, there's the second set of pages. One thing that I find interesting, a lot of books they have the um, the pages you know in the exact order whereas with Elena's books or at least the few that I have they're just kind of randomly put in there so they don't feel like duplicates in a sense. So it goes through all of the pages again And then it's got a little insert about her as an artist. It's got her website and some of her accounts. Um, she does sell art prints, uh, posters, cards, curtains, phone cases, um, well, specifically iPhone cases, um, pillows, blankets, clocks, bags. So lots of neat stuff from her. And then it has some of her available coloring books that you can kind of look at the covers for. There's a few that I'm definitely interested in as well. And then you've got just kind of one blank page that you could use for, you know, testing or swatching colors out on the paper. And then you just have a little bit of the printing information at the bottom. And that is that. So that's it for this review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. A huge thanks to Elena for sending me these books to review. Hopefully I did them justice. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's all I needed to say. Enjoy the speed color if you stick around for that, and I'll see you next time. Alright guys, take care. Bye!
Where are you going?